So we're at Clay and Arrack, which is on the road up from Thalty Will to the bungalow. And we're standing alongside a ditch, and above the ditch is a long structure, we shall say for now, a couple of hundred yards long. Locals will remember it because the old road cut through it and the new road was carefully designed to use the same gap in the middle of the structure. So it's raised, as you can see, it's um, 10, 12 feet high at the highest. There is a plaque near the roadside stating it to be an Iron Age fort, fortification I should say. Doubt's been cast on that because if it's a defensive structure defending against movement up the Solby Valley, then the ditch is actually on the wrong side because the ditch is on the eastern side uh, of what would be the rampart if it is a defensive structure. The other theory is that it's simply a feature for essentially stock control. Clay and Arrack translation actually means the boundary fence. So we don't know how long it's had that name, but that might lead you towards the interpretation that it, that it was just a boundary feature rather than a, a defensive feature. And it's not been excavated. Things like this focus the mind and they make us explore possible answers. Just because there's a hundred year old metal plate saying it's one thing, it doesn't stop us trying to guess what might else it might be. You often find with things like this, your answer only takes you to more questions and that's good. It's good always to be questioning.